Hey kids, today we're going to be drawing something for Earth Day and it's based on an artist named Keith Herring. Now Keith is known for all these really fun lines and movement and there's even a book that you can read about him. The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. It's a little bit how I am. So all you need is a Sharpie and whatever you have to color with. I use liquid watercolors, but you can use whatever you have. Okay, ready? Let's go. I'm gonna draw two figures on either side of the paper. I want it to be down far enough so that it's not too high up and it's too long. So starting right around here, I'm gonna draw my first head in a rainbow line. And I'm gonna make it come skinnier at the bottom here. The first arm is gonna be holding planet Earth and it's gonna come right out of the head itself. So my line is going to come horizontal and then a little bit thicker and then back in. Now I want this line to be kind of the same on both sides. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it. And do you see how I can see just barely the lines that I drew? So I'm going to trace it on this side of the paper. And what that's going to do is create symmetry. That means that the line will be the same or this part of the figure on both sides. And you can see it again right here. So now I'm gonna trace it again on this side. And this is going to create the symmetry of these two figures on both sides holding planet Earth. These two sides are symmetrical. The two arms are exactly the same on both sides of the paper. But these bodies and the other arms, I'm gonna make a little bit different. I'm gonna make the arms do something else. So this arm's gonna be hanging straight down. And in order to do a hanging down straight arm, again, for Keith Herring, he draws the arms coming out of the head. So this arm's gonna come straight down and up. And then this arm, I'm gonna have doing something totally different. Now I don't have a lot of room here, but I'm gonna have it go up. So this arm would go up like cheering and I'm gonna need to draw the other side of the arm coming down. So they're a little bit different, right? And now I'm gonna draw the legs a little bit different and you can choose what kind of legs you want. So do you want your legs to be bent? Do you want them to be straight? Do you want it to look like it's being kicked up? You choose. So starting here, I'm going to come down with the body in a vertical line and I want these legs to look bent. So I'm gonna have them come out and then down. And I'm gonna have the other leg or the other side of his, uh, his legs come out from the arm. It's gonna follow the direction of this line. So it's going to come out and then down. And then I'm gonna draw a line in the middle to separate the legs. He kind of looks like he's trying to sit. And Keith Haring is known for these really fun positions that his figures have. So you could do something totally different with his legs and, and surprise me. For this one, his first leg, Here's, I'm gonna draw his body first, make sure this part of his body comes down. And then I'm gonna make this first leg come straight down. So here it comes, whoop, down, just like that. But this other leg, I want it to be kicked up, like he's really excited. See his arms going up, his legs gonna be up. He's really excited that he's getting to hold planet Earth with his friend or his sister or his grandpa or someone on the other side of the world. So this second leg, I'm gonna draw a line coming down first, just a little bit, and then this leg is going to suddenly go whoop, off the page. That means this line also has to go the same direction. So the lines always for your legs are going to be parallel. They're going to go in the same direction. So if this leg decided to go even farther up, both of those legs will go in the same direction. Now I need to finish the other side of this leg. So I'm going to bring this leg down. And now I have my two Keith Herring figures. And now we're gonna get ready to draw planet Earth. To draw planet Earth, Earth is going to go right in between them and it's gonna start at one head and end at the other head. And I'm gonna draw a big rainbow line. So here's one side, it's gonna come all the way across and it's going to come down. Now your Earth might look a little lumpy, mine often does, so don't worry about that at all. It's just, you're having fun. Now I'm gonna draw the other side. And the other side is going to start right around where their legs start and it's going to come in a big smile. So I'm going to come like this and a big smile 
and go up. And my earth looks a little flat, but that's okay. We know it's round. And once I get all the colors on there, I won't even notice. Now I want my earth to be smiling. So I'm gonna give my earth some eyes. And do you see my middle of the paper? I'm gonna put an eye on each side here with a circle. So here's one circle. And I'm gonna put the eye on the other side to make it symmetrical. And I'm gonna make my earth have really cute eyes. So I'm gonna draw a curved line on both sides here, a bigger one, and then a little tiny one here for these reflection points. And I'm gonna use my marker and I'm going to color in around those reflection points. Now, if you're using a Sharpie, sometimes your Sharpie will accidentally color over this. The marker will bleed a little bit. And if that happens, don't worry about it. The eyes look just as cute, even if you only end up with one little tiny white reflection point. Now, if you want to give your earth a few, you can give your earth some eyebrows or you can give it some, I put some curved eyelashes on mine and then I'm going to give it a mouth. Now my earth is really happy, it's Earth Day. Kind of like a birthday, right? So I'm gonna give a big smile line and an even bigger smile line. And I'm gonna put a tongue in here and I'm gonna do a tongue by drawing a rainbow line right in the center and a line to divide it. And then I'm gonna color, not the tongue, but everything else around the tongue black to show the darkness of the mouth. Now, once I'm done with my, with this mouth, I'm going to go ahead and I can add the continents or islands on planet Earth around what I've already drawn. And that and how you add those continents and islands is completely up to you. You can try to be realistic and draw a continent like Asia or Africa or North America, or you can just draw some blobby continents, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just gonna draw some lines, maybe have a continent coming down here between the eyes, maybe a little one here that goes under the arm. And you can even draw some islands if you want. And you can draw as many as you want that you can see. So there are mine, and I've drawn my lines really, really thick already. You can, if you want, go back and retrace the lines to make them even thicker, but if you press really hard, you won't need to do that. If you press really, really light, you might want to do that. So take a look and make sure all your lines are really thick and really dark, and then the last thing we're gonna do is start adding those movement lines. So the movement lines are going to be around the hands and the feet, and they're just short lines and they don't touch the actual arm, but they're around the arm. So there's one. And then I want it to look like he's giving this um, planet Earth a hug. So I'm gonna draw a few around this arm here. Same thing over here. A few lines here. And you can't see much of this arm, but I'm gonna draw a few anyway, just in case. And I'm gonna do the same thing around the feet that you can't quite see on this figure. Because this foot is kicked up. Now this foot is down, so this foot isn't moving at all. So I wanna think, where is it moving? So if you think that this foot is jumping, you could add movement lines around this leg or somewhere else. But lastly, we're going to put them around planet Earth. So I'm going to draw these nice dark lines pressing really hard to make sure that the lines are thick above and below. And then guess what? It's time to paint. Okay kids, now we have our paint and I'm using liquid watercolors. Decide what color you want your figures to be. If you're using yellow, start there. Yellow can get really messy if another color accidentally gets added to it. The other thing you might wanna have if you're using watercolors is a piece of paper towel. 
And that's because watercolors like to be friends with each other. So if you paint something blue and you have yellow next to it and that water is still sitting on the paper and you can tell that it is because see how glossy it is, then your, um, your yellow is gonna wanna be friends with the other colors around it. So I'm gonna use these bright colors to paint my figures. And the reason I'm choosing yellow and orange is because I'm going to be painting my earth blue and green. And I want the colors that my figures are to be very different. I want them to pop against planet Earth. And you can see that with liquid watercolors, it's very easy to just dip your paintbrush in the color and go. And that's one of the benefits of them. But if you're using regular watercolors or you're using, you can use gel crayons for this. But I'm going to clean my brush because I'm moving to blue and green now. And I'm going to start with green. I'm going to get my continents down. I'm going to get really close to this yellow. I'm going to be careful. Now, if my green gets on the yellow and it starts to become friends with the yellow, it's okay. I can dab it. And you know what? My final had some colors that were still mixed together. And I bet you when I showed you the sample, you didn't even notice. So you won't notice. So if you accidentally mix the colors a little bit, don't worry about it and keep going. You don't want to ruin all the beautiful work you've already done by throwing it away and starting over. So I'm choosing to use um, really dark green for my continents. And then I'm going to come back and do blue. Now my blue is really dark with liquid watercolors and I can change that around if I want. So I'm going to clean my brush and I'm headed to blue and I'm going to put the blue on the paper. I can use, leave it this dark or I can get some more water and I can use it to spread it out. And I just realized I forgot to paint my islands over here. So I'll come back and get those later. I'm going around the eyes. And I guarantee you I'm going to accidentally get blue on some of these other things that I'm painting around, but that's okay. But instead of getting more blue, I'm getting more water. And I'm using the water to spread out the color that I already have on the paper because I want it to be just a little bit lighter than it already is. And you can choose if you want yours to be dark or light. But I wanted to show you that if you add that water, you can lighten up a dark color if you don't like it that dark. There's my planet Earth. I'm gonna go back in and get those little islands. And then finally, I'm gonna get some red for that tongue. Now I'm left with purple, so I'm going to go in and I'm gonna paint the whole background purple. And I have a lot of color on my um, paper, but I can use the water to help to easily smear that paint around and spread it and it doesn't take as long if you get that water and just push the paint around. So instead of painting in little tiny areas, you can push it around. Now you do have to be a little careful. I'm going, I'm getting really close up on my brush to go around these figures. But if you leave a little white around that, around your figures, you don't have to worry about um, your colors becoming friends with each other, especially yellow and purple. When they get together, um, they are going to make like a kind of a, a really beautiful muddy brown. But if I don't want brown on my figures and I want him to remain the color of sunshine right now, then I got to avoid that. Okay. I'm almost done with my painting. So this is a really fun, quick and easy way to celebrate Earth Day. And if you don't wanna do one with figures, you can do this project using other contour lines or shapes of other things too. You just wanna draw the outline, the edges, 
and put those movement lines in. And I can see that my tongue is getting a little blue. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna dab that to turn it back to pink. I'm gonna get a little bit more pink and drop that back in. And guess what? We're all done, everyone.